In this video, we're going to look at Uniform Cost Search. Uniform Cost Search is a simple systematic search which is guaranteed to find an optimal solution to a problem. In the event that no solution exists, it will explore the entire space and tell us that there is no answer. Here, we'll see Uniform Cost Search find a path of least cost through a grid. In this problem, we can move in any of the cardinal directions, that is, north, south, east, and west. Moving in any direction from any location will always take one unit of effort. Uniform Cost Search explores the space in a very systematic way. First, we take the starting state of our search and put it into the list of states we need to consider, commonly referred to as the open list. In Uniform Cost Search, the open list is a priority queue which sorts states in order of increasing cost of arriving at them. For example, a state which takes four steps to reach would appear in the queue after one which was reached in three, but before one which can only be reached in five. Uniform Cost Search always selects the state at the front of the open list when deciding which state to consider next. Because of the way the open list is sorted, this means that Uniform Cost Search is always considering the least expensive path that it hasn't considered yet next. Eventually, this path will lead to a goal, if there's a path to the goal in the problem. Whenever the path leads to a goal, it is also the cheapest, or at least among the cheapest in case of Ty's unexplored path. This means that solutions returned by Uniform Cost Search are the cheapest solutions for the given problem. We say that these solutions are optimal. Before I show the search in action, I thought I'd point out a few important features of the visualization. Here we see the open list that I was talking about before. Currently only the root node, the uh, starting state, appears on the list, which is why it's so short. The title bar is currently labeled G. G is just shorthand for the cost of arriving at a given state. All of the colors in the visualization, including those on the grid itself and those on the open list, will relate to the G value of the current state for this video. Over here, we see a small color scale. It has the minimum and maximum values for the current feature, G, shown at the bottom and top respectively. We see that the colors shift from a very light yellow, when the cost of arriving at a state is low, to a deep red when the cost of arriving at a state is high. The area above the color scale shows important information about the search and about the node currently being expanded. Of particular interest is the expansion number shown here. This expansion number tells us something about the progress of the search. Also of interest are the location of the node currently being expanded and the cost of arriving at that location shown here and here respectively. Here in the main area, we see the problem that we're going to be solving. We'll be navigating from the green square, shown in the upper left-hand corner here, to the blue square in the lower right-hand corner, seen here. Squares which are white are traversable, and the black squares represent impassable obstacles. So I've gone ahead and started the search now. You can see that Uniform Cost Search is radiating out from the upper left-hand corner of the problem. As we get further along in the search, we start examining nodes which are further away from the goal. Their color begins moving from that very, very light yellow to a deeper yellow as a result. These nodes happen to be a little further from the start state, so the paths to them are a little longer. At this point, I'm going to speed up the search a little bit and let it run to completion. You can see how the search is expanding nodes in order of increasing G value if you look at the uh, node display area up here. You can see that there are in fact many nodes of a given G value. You can sort of think of these as waves radiating out almost evenly from the root of the search space. These pockets of white are nodes which cannot be reached. They're completely surrounded by obstacles.
And there you have it, Uniform Cost Search has finally arrived at a goal. This nice yellow to red gradient represents the increasing cost of arriving at nodes. They're further away from the root. In the next video, we'll see how Uniform Cost Search performs on a problem where each action doesn't take exactly one unit of effort.